Hey babies, today I wanted to have a little talk about self-love and body positivity. I think that my number one comment that I get constantly, no matter the season, no matter what video I'm even putting out, is how I'm so confident or how I stay body positive or tips on how to love your body more. And so I just thought I would talk about it today. So this is going to be a very like positive, happy video and I hope you guys can come back to this anytime that you feel down and out about your body or your self image. And hopefully this little pep talk can kind of help. The first tip that I can give is to surround yourself with good, positive people who are going to make you feel uplifted and confident about your body who don't shame you or bring you down who don't make you feel that your body is something that you should apologize or be ashamed for because I have definitely surrounded myself with people like that in the past whether it's family and I know especially with family sometimes you don't have a choice particularly if you live at home or are dependent on them for something so that can be tricky but try your hardest to eliminate anyone that you can who makes you feel bad about yourself I would always say to kind of bring it up and just say like hey this really bothers me that you did this um, and I just want you to know that it doesn't make me feel really good about myself and in some circumstances people will apologize but if they're just nasty not nice people they may continue to do it there are people who are unhappy with themselves and they may be projecting that onto you or maybe they're just mean and they don't want anyone to feel good about themselves good and positive people who actually respect you will never make jokes about the way that you look will never try to make you feel poorly about it they just won't do things like that I think that a body positivity buddy system is really cool maybe if like you and a friend both have the tendency to put yourselves down or take other words to heart if you are being body shamed at school or at home or in your workplace like whatever it might be if you know someone who might be in a similar boat I think it's really good to kind of buddy up use the buddy system and just have each other's backs on down days but if you don't have a friend like that in your day-to-day -day life I found something somewhat recently that I think could be really really helpful if you are looking for more positive vibes and maybe just a place where you can be all about self-love and it's an app called six tribes and as you can see my tribes up at the top I'm following like hashtag OOTD, hashtag animal lovers. Like there's other things on the app as well and I actually use it for makeup inspiration sometimes but I recently found a tribe called Radical Self Love. I found as I kind of scrolled through it's such a positive and uplifting place. Like people are just talking back and forth about things that they really love about themselves and I just think that that's so great when you can find a positive thing within yourself whether it's physical or not physical that you can be really proud of and this is kind of a place where people can chat back and forth about these sorts of things and maybe uplift each other on bad days. And Six Tribes is kind of like the most organized form of social media I've ever found. People are posting everything from like cars to adorable photos of animals. You can go into it and find things that you genuinely like. There's no like clogging up your feed. Things that you don't necessarily care about and I just think it's a really cool way to be introduced to things that you are into like animals or makeup or fashion. It's a lot of inspiration. It's a lot of really like nice positive things because everyone is in a tribe that they are really really passionate about and I definitely recommend it. The app itself is really cool but in this circumstance I think it could be a great way to connect with people who simply want to do the exact same thing that I know that a lot of you guys want to do which is love yourself and just feel more positive and confident in the person that you are. It's currently on the iOS marketplace so if you guys want to join I will link it down below. I'm on there so come and find me. I'll be posting some stuff in my tribes. But yeah I think that focusing on things about yourself that make you genuinely happy so if it's a physical thing you can like your butt. Like everyone has a great butt, there's no wrong way to have a butt, but you can also focus on internal things like you're probably a really good person and you probably do good things in your life. I think that appreciating the things that you do like about yourself but not really focusing on the things that make you feel bad is a good thing. I'm not saying to ignore them or put them in like a closet and forget about them or just pretend they don't exist because I don't think that that's healthy. But at the same time, constantly clogging your mind with these really, really negative words of self-depreciation is just very, very harmful, especially when you've done it for ages, your entire life maybe for some people. So I think that those positive affirmations and reminding yourself of the good things can be really empowering and uplifting. I was starting out on like a list system. I was going to go like one, two, three, four on my bullet points of self-love and how to be more confident, but I guess I'm giving that up because I have yet to stop rambling, so we're just going to roll with it. Kind of on the same note of like saying good things about yourself, don't look at things that are gonna make you really, really sad or bring you down. And by this, I mean the same thing that I said earlier with kind of eliminating people that just make you feel crappy. Articles online that spread about like body shaming do so because they hurt people, because they get crazy amounts of attention. And if they didn't, the media wouldn't care. Like there wouldn't be these articles online about 
so-and-so body shaming and it's like this crazy thing and there there wouldn't be things on this if it wasn't a big deal. The internet can be a really powerful place but it can also be a really dangerous place. So if you're seeing things like this and you just know it's going to make you unhappy or it's going to harm you in some way, either ignore it if it's on social media, just block whoever it is entirely, whether it's a comment directed at you or it's just something you stumble upon so that you can't see it anymore. My last kind of tip is sort of general but hear me out on it. And it's just to remember that life is too short. It's too short to feel so unhappy about the way that you look and you get one self during this super short span of time unless you are like a crazy genius and you have somehow like transported your brain into another person. I think that acknowledging when you're having bad days where you don't feel necessarily really confident in yourself or you just feel insecure, it's a good thing but at the same time, those days are gonna keep coming and coming and coming unless you make a conscious decision. And that's why when people ask, how do I be more confident? How do I love myself more? Can you give me tips on this? That's really all I can say is once you make the conscious effort, that's going to be the biggest step that you can take. No one wakes up just loving themselves and loving every last inch. I don't love every last part of myself every single day. There are bad days. There are days when I would not put on a bikini and get on the internet the way that I know a lot of you see me do. So just kind of keep that in mind that everyone has those down days and not to be hard on yourself, but at the same time, try your hardest the next day to get out of bed and think those self-appreciation thoughts that I was talking about earlier. Say good, positive things about yourself that are so loud that they completely drown out all the negativity. Keep moving forward and that's all that we can do in life is to keep moving forward and be the happiest that we can be. So that is pretty much all for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I will see you next time. Bye!